Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss a question based on property of numbers. So the question is, n square plus 5n plus 6 is a multiple of 6. Now, n is a natural number and is less than 100. So how many different values can n take? Now, this seems to be a very simple question, but is a bit logical one. Not difficult, but a bit logical, right? So n square plus 5n plus 6. Now, this has to be a multiple of 6. Fine. A divisible by 6. Now splitting this, we can write this as n plus 2 multiply by n plus 3. I have just, I have just factorized it, right? The factors of this is n plus 2 and n plus 3. So a zone factor should be divisible by 6. Now, uh, see, case first. When n plus 2 is divisible by 6, when n plus 2 is divisible by 6, then our work will be done, right? When n plus 2 is divisible by 6, we need not to bother about n plus 3 in that case, right? Case second, when n plus 3 is divisible by 6, in this case, we n plus 2 need to worry about n plus 3. If n plus 3 is divisible by 6, then the whole number will be divisible by 6. Now, these are generally the cases that generally students take. Where they have an issue, the issue is here. It can also be possible that n plus 2 is divisible by 2 and n plus 3 is divisible by 3. In that particular case, one number is 2 to multiple and 3 to multiple. So, both products are 6 to multiple. Definitely. Right? And the last case, n plus 2. 2 is divisible by 3 and n plus 3 is divisible by 2. So these are the four cases jinka hum to solve karna hai. How many different solutions are possible? So let us try to solve this out. Now for n plus 2 to be divisible by 6, we can have the value of n ranging from 4 and after a difference of every 6 value, each value will satisfy. We can uh, easily check this. Substituting n equal to 4, we'll have 6. N equal to 10 will give us 12. N equal to 16 will give us 18. So these are consecutive multiples of 6 only. Right. So this is an AP. And since we know that there is an upper limit on N, N should be less than 100. So the maximum value uh, till where we can go is 94. So on using the formula of AP and finding the number of terms, I'm using this formula. N at term in AP is given by A plus N minus 1 times B. And where A N is the N at term, a is the first term, n is the number of terms, and b is the common difference. So applying this formula in this particular AP, so 94 is equal to a plus n. We need to find out how many terms are there. And common difference is of 6. So on solving n for n, we'll get the value of n is 16. So we have 16 values possible for n, uh, which satisfies this first condition. Now let us move to second condition. n plus 3 is divisible by 6. So we can have the values of n, which vary from 3. And after a difference of every 6 value. Now see, when we substitute 3 over here, it will become 6, which is divisible by uh, 6, right? And when we substitute th 9, then it will become 12. Again, a multiple of 6. When we'll substitute 15, it will become 18. Again, a multiple of 6. And so on. And the last value that we can take in this particular case is 99. Fine. 99 ki baad will exceed 100. Yaha par bhi 100 nahi liya tha because n should be less than 100 and not equal to. So again, using the same formula, 99 is equal to a plus n minus 1 and common differences of 6, we'll get the value of n is 17. Fine. Now, we have uh, done with this case also. Going to third case, n plus 2 is divisible by 2 and n plus 3 should be divisible by 3. Now, we need to take care of these two conditions simultaneously. n plus 2, 2 se divisible hona chahiye or n plus 3, 3 se divisible hona chahiye. So, value of n as 6 will satisfy. If we take the first value of n as 6, we'll satisfy. Fine. I'm 0 will a second, but 0 is not a natural number. Or question may given again is a natural normal, right? So n equal to 6 liya. So this will become 8 and this will become 9. So 8 is divisible by 2 and 9 is divisible by 3. Next such value will be 12. And the same logic applies. After a difference of every 6, the value, uh, uh, this condition will satisfy, right? And the last term will be 96. Again, applying the formula of AP, so 96 is equal to A plus, and we need to find out minus 1 times and D. On solving this for N, we'll get, get 16 cases. Fine. And last case, we are done with case third also. And last case, N plus 2 is divisible by 3, and N plus 3 is divisible by 
not the four. Here it should be two, right? ठीक है. So the first value of n that will satisfy is n equal to one. आप सब्सिट्यूट करके देखिए. Three, yes, it is divisible by three, and here it will be four, which is divisible by two, right? So after every six difference of six value, it will again repeat the pattern, right? So यहाँ पर जैसे हम seven डालेंगे तो seven plus two is nine, which is divisible by three, and seven plus three is ten, which is divisible by two. So again, this is an AP, and the last term of this AP would be ninety-seven. Fine. The upper uh, limit on n is it is less than hundred. So on solving this AP, ninety-seven is equal to a plus n minus one times n difference. We'll get the value of n is seventeen. So how many values do we have? Sixteen, seventeen, sixteen, seventeen. In total, we have sixty-six such values of n, and these sixty-six values are unique. Why unique? See, यहाँ पर हम कहाँ से start करें? We are starting with four. And difference is of six. यहाँ पर three से start है, तो difference six का है. तो ये दोनों में कोई भी common value नहीं है. Here we are starting from six, and the difference is of six. Again, no common value. यहाँ पर one से start है, common difference six का है. तो इन चारों में कोई भी common value नहीं है, right? So the answer to this question is sixty-six. I hope this is clear to you. Thank you.